Welcome to one of the Seven Deadly Sins, Wrath of the God, Season 3, Episode number 12, Reaction, Read, Write, and Review Video. Um, so this is just like the last review video where I'll be, you know, having a little bit of a review session on the video on this channel. And the full reaction is in the description down below. Um, so you can go check out the reaction, it then is on BitChute. Um, you can find the link in the description down below. Full on reaction. So hopefully you enjoy. If you want to just go watch that right now, then you can. And if you want to sit around for the review, then here we go. We're going to jump into it. Um, we had a lot of action in this episode. We had like two major fights, pretty much. Um, this and the Lysons and Elaine and um, Elizabeth versus Mel Stula. And also, Estenor versus Mel Yoda story now right now, which I don't even know what to think about that. That's ridiculous, but it's happening and I'm worried. Um... So, Mel Stula kind of transformed into a, like a big white snake. Um, well, I guess that's her regular form. She, I guess she transformed into a human from what she what we later learned. We should have kind of guessed that since she did always kind of have a snake tongue. Um, or like a snake light tongue. Um, and now she, she just transformed into a big old snake. Um, and she was going to eat Bon, which wouldn't have been great. But Elaine transformed with all of her love and all of her power like this episode. I, I forgot exactly what the title was, but it was something like Love is a Maiden's True Power or something like that. She transformed, she got cooler wings, she got longer hair, and she saved Bon. Um, but then Bon was immediately fucked again by her like poison gas attack thing. Um, and then we learned that... Um, I don't know if that was like technically her miasma attack or whatever that was, but whatever her poison attack does can't harm Elizabeth because she just walked into it, removed the poison from Bon, and then we were, we were good again. Um, then we had like a little bit of a scuffle between Diane and Kane and uh, Melstula. She definitely underestimated them, uh, and then they just like showed off Droll and Luxinia's power, which was fucking dope. Um, and then Elaine was ready to kill her. Uh, so pretty much she was she would have been committing suicide at that point, um, but Elaine was ready to kill uh, Melstula. But um, Elizabeth stepped in again, being absolutely OP in this episode and using whatever her uh, attack was called, her magic was called, and turned Melstula back into her original state, which is you know, just just this mini small snake that can fit into a little uh, little glass. Um, and, I mean, obviously, there is a lot of inspiration drawn here from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood with Envy, since they're pretty much the same. I don't want to say they're the same character, but they're very similar, you know, uh, a little creature that can transform into a bit creature that also has a human form. Very, very similar to Envy, so um, there's definitely some inspiration drawn there, which is great. I love if maybe Envy's a great character, so it's uh, cool to see something like that in the show as well. Um, and now, yeah, now another one of the commandments has been defeated. But I have a feeling that just like Envy and if maybe uh, she might eventually break out again and then we might actually have to kill her. It's just that we can't keep her alive because if we were to kill her then Elaine would die. Um, but it's good that she is actually, you know, alive but not really active. Which is, she's, in, she's incapacitated, that's the word I was looking for. Um, which is great, so we don't have to worry about her anymore. Or we don't have to worry about her to make sure that she doesn't break out, but she, that she can't fight us in that state, really. Um, who can't fight in that state is Meliodas in his assault mode, which is horrified. He just he he said goodbye emotions, and he just went full on demon crazy activated mode, and now he's fighting Estranor, which is horrifying. Those two are monsters. I said it. I don't know who would win in that fight since it's Estranor who. Again, fucked up Estorosa, but it's also Meliodas, who is Meliodas, so I, I don't know. I don't know, but I've been looking forward to another Estenor fucking everyone up since he, you know, fucked up Estorosa in Season 2. So I can't wait. What's gonna happen here? I have a feeling that no one is really gonna win this fight, technically, and it's gonna be, like, broken up. Because I can't see any of them, like, literally knocking themselves out. Maybe it's, like, a draw or something. We will see... Um, but my god, Meliodas in his full-ass demon form is scary. It's scary that he even has a form like that, that he can even just, you know, activate his demon mode and just be, like, in full mindset, like, I am the leader of the Ten Commandments. He literally said that. 
it's horrifying that he can still do that, that he still has that mentality. Um, it's sort of like sealed within him, he only let out his full demon power because he tried to escape from Melestrial's cocoon, which obviously it worked out, but then it didn't work out because he kind of started uh, going into his actual demon personality, which is badass, yeah, but it's also horrifying, and I'm not ready to see him fight Estenor. That's going to be awesome. Um, the good thing for you guys is that right now I will actually be uploading my reaction to episode number 13, so you can just go watch it right now while I have to wait a few days. <laughs> um... Unfortunate, but what can you do? I guess it just gives me some time to hype up the fight that isn't be coming. And we might also get a new opening, either uh, next reaction or the reaction after that, which is also going to be amazing. Um, but it's also sad because we didn't have to say goodbye to Rob the Frontier, which is such a good song. Um, if I ever make an updated uh, opening list, I don't know, for another subscriber special, that's definitely gonna be up in that definitely top twenty, maybe even top ten. I love that song. I love Overworld. You guys know that. Uh, so that's super hype. Also, the ED. <laughs> I love the first set of songs for season three of Sydney Lisa. I, I I'm just assuming that there's a second set of songs, which is why wouldn't there be? I love the first set. So I cannot wait for the second set. Hopefully, it's gonna be just as good, maybe even better. Gonna be hard to do. But I guess we'll find out when the time for that is right. So overall, I um, for what this episode was, I did enjoy it a lot. Um, I don't talk about the animation anymore because I don't need to. Um, but I am going to still stick with all of Sinatis in Season 3. I am going to watch the anime, even if the animation is horrible. Well, I don't, I don't want to say it's horrible. It's I can watch it. I don't like die while watching it, but it's definitely not like good. Uh, it's it's pretty bad. We can we can read it. It's pretty fucking bad. Um, I really do hope that if there's ever a season four, that they do get a one to do it again. I know they didn't want to continue doing it because the movie flopped completely, um, which is understandable why they would you know wouldn't continue. But it's so unfortunate because this season is not going to do well at all. Um, while people are first watching it, they're watching episodes seven the since I'm watching episodes seven the since, but like. Hopefully that I don't even know which I don't even know what studio does it. Um, hopefully they noticed that they're not fit to do seven days in season three, or they don't have the budget or the animators to do seven days in season three. Um, and hopefully another studio pitches it up. If there's ever going to be a season four, I really hope that it's a one again. But it's kind of hard to you know imagine them doing that since they decided that they weren't going to continue, which is the movie did so not well. Um. Which, again, I understand. From a business perspective, I 100% understand why they wouldn't continue doing the anime. Um, and even if there isn't another season, or if the season is made by the same studio, there's always the original source material to read, which, I mean, I heard is obviously better than what um, the anime is right now. But, nonetheless, I'm still going to watch it, just because I started watching it, so why would I not finish it? Uh, I'm still enjoying it, nonetheless, because the story is great, the characters are great. And I'm worried and excited to see what's going to happen in the next episode. Maybe they're going to try to actually, you know, try to animate well and put some budget into the next episode since it's Estenor versus Meliodas. The fight, like, the, the small snippet of fight we had in this episode wasn't great, but maybe we can hope, right? We can, we can always hope. Um... So yeah, that's where we're going to leave off this review right here. Again, the full reaction is in the description. You can watch it out if you haven't yet. Hopefully you enjoy. Episode 13 will also be up right now. Hopefully. Uh, so you can go check that out as well. And that's where I'm going to leave off this review. Thank you guys for watching. Ninja Snyder signing out. Goodbye everyone.